Shalom to the nation of Israel. Baruch Zal coming in the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> this lesson is going to be titled Falling into the Hands of Yahweh. Okay? It's going to be a quick one, but an important one nonetheless. Hebrews 10 and 30, For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I'll recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Right? And Lord's in lowercase, so it's referring to Yahweh Shai. Right? Verse 31, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So who's the living power? That's Yahweh. So it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power because he'll do whatever he wants. He can, he can do whatever he wants, right? He can do anything. He can make you die in ways you never even thought of, right? And we're talking about death. You, you can torture in ways you never even thought of. He can torment you, give you night, terror, night terrors, right? So, like, the reason why I'm talking about this is because, you know, in the times we're approaching... Or the times we're really in right now, the furnace is gonna get hotter, right? And if you're not in your P's and Q's, you're gonna fall into the hands of the living power, right? Ecclesiasticus twenty-seven and three: Unless a man hold himself diligently, diligent slack. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. Right? So you need to fear Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. If you don't, your house shall soon be overthrown, right? Then you'll be destroyed. Someone overthrows a house, they take it over. Right? And they take it over, they kill the people and the inhabitants, like, you know, like um, people invade a, a kingdom, right? The castle, they, take, they kill everybody, they take the castle, right? So, like, you're going to be overthrown. And it's to further. Emphasize the word overthrow. Go overthrow. To knock down. There you go. Throw down. Cast headlong. Uh, cast down from power. Defeat. Overturn something. Overthrow. Destroy. Right? And then he goes down here. Mid 15th centuries. Destruction. Downfall. Action, action of overthrowing. Right? Cause the downfall of rulers. Rule against, right? So you're going to be destroyed. Most likely going to take you down from whatever, wherever you are. He's going to bring you back down to nothing. And you already were nothing. But he's going to be taking you lower than that. Right? So, like, you need to stay on your P's and Q's. <laughs> you really do. All of us, including myself. Um,. See if I can get here faster. No, it's going to take longer. Let's jump this way. Ecclesiasticus 7 and 1. Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Right? It's very simple. <laughs> do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Right? So you don't do evil to someone, no evil come back unto you. Now, it doesn't mean you're not going to catch hell and, you know, those things. That how that you're catching is for things you did in your past life and your current life, right? The ones you did in your past life, you can't do anything about that. You just got to take it, deal with it, accept it, learn from it, and move on, right? The ones you do in your present life, you know, those are the ones you want to minimize as much as possible because you're already dealing with stuff that you come there from your past life, you which you can't, like, can't do anything about. <laughs> so in your present one, you got to be in your P's and Q's. The uh, scriptures read, um, be, uh, walk circumspectly, Right? Um, you know, be be circumspect in every matter, great or small. So you have to be on your P's and Q's, right? Because if you don't, you'll fall into the the hands of the living power, right? So you need to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which will keep you in a straight and narrow to do the right thing all the time to the best of your ability. Because we're still in the flesh, so we're still going to go off. But you want to minimize that to the least, you know, at least amount of uh, of uh, of um, you know. Going off. That's the word I want to use, but that's not the correct word. But like, you know, you want to you want to minimize that to the, you know. Because like every time you do that, something's gonna come back onto you. That's just what it is. Right? 
right? You know, everything's about balance. And when it comes back onto you, you accept it. And then you laugh. You know, for me, when that, those things happen, I laugh because I know why it happened. It's because I did this. Okay, mm-hmm, I laugh. And I learn from it and I don't do it again. You know? Um, where are we at? Okay, yeah, we're going to read two. So, do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. So, that's the whole thing about karma that people talk about in the world. Karma, you know, what you do will come back onto you, you know, times times two, times three. And it's true, right? Most High will punish you three times uh, um, three times worse than the, the actual action you did first, especially if you're aware of it. If you're completely aware of what you're doing and you do it, he's going to punish you it's gonna be worse right now if you did it unawarely that's a different story he might even have mercy on you right but if he does punish you it's not gonna be as bad but at the same time you still want to avoid that right that's why um you know you want to be circumspect in every matter great or small it's verse two depart from the unjust so depart from the unjust if you're not around people that are unjust who are basically wicked who constantly are doing wicked things, the chances of you doing something wicked is a lot lower. It decreases, you know, dramatically. Because you're not around those people. You're not in that environment. And your flesh is already wicked. It's already weak. So it's going to go off. It's, gonna, it's, it's already prone to going off. So you don't want to be in an environment that's going to make it, uh, you know, that's going to feed into its weakness, right? So depart from the unjust, and iniquity shall turn away from thee. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Because if you don't do that, you'll fall in the hands of the living power. And he'll mess you up in ways you can't even think of. Right? Because you have to remember, he can do whatever, whenever, however, you know, he wants to you. Right? So now we're going to go to First Thessalonians, which is the last one. Um... Man, because it's very simple, man. You just do what you're supposed to do the best of your ability. Things you're not aware of, you you know, you just ask for mercy for those things and ask them for, to correct you and show you the right way. You learn from it, keep it moving, right? And the things you are aware of, don't do them. Don't do them. Because you can't always use, uh, oh, I'm in the flesh as a, a scapegoat. Oh, I'm in the flesh, so that's why I did that. All right. Okay. You want to keep telling yourself that, well, it's because I'm in the flesh. Oh, that's why I did that. Ah, I'm in the flesh. Okay. But then you're, and now it just sounds like you're making excuses. Oh, I'm in the flesh. So that's why I went off. Oh, I'm in the flesh. That's why I slept with my, my man's, um, my, my brother's woman. Oh, I'm in the flesh. That's why, you know, I, I had sex on the Sabbath. I was in the flesh. You know, I'm in the flesh. I want to go off. All right, you keep telling yourself that. Remember, the Most High, you can't, you can't lie to the Most High. You can't hide from the Most High. You can't hide from your help, Hashem, your Shai. He knows. So you keep telling yourself that. You're just lying to yourself, right? You're just heaping sin upon sin, right? Everyone, every brother has different lots. Some are, you know, in, in some ways easier than others, but you don't know the other things that brother's going through. But like, at the end of the day, you have to fight. You can't just give up because, oh, I'm in the flesh. Oh, I'm in the flesh. So I'm weak. I'm in the flesh. That's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Okay. Uh, this is the last one. First Thessalonians 4 and 8. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but Yahweh, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right. Right? The Most High given us His Holy Spirit. Right? The Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So at the end of the day, like, the whole I'm in the flesh, scapegoat phrase, oh, I'm in the flesh, I'm in, you know, the flesh is weak, you know, it's bullshit because, you know, if you're in the truth, then Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with you. Therefore, you know, you can't sit there and say that as a scapegoat. Like, do you really want to tell that, you know, your Yahweh Shai comes into your house you know, he has his report of all the things you did and your, your, your excuse to Yahweh is, oh, I was in the flesh. No, I was in the flesh. Really? You know? Anyways, 
you know, that's it on that. The point has been made. Um, you know, you got to fear Yahweh Hashem Shai because that fear will keep you on the straight and narrow and it will keep you from going off less. Not saying you're not going to go off. It's just it's going to be less. You know, it's going to minimize it because you're going to be afraid of what's going to happen to you if you go off, especially when you're aware of it, right? That's the main thing I'm talking about. The ones that is when you're aware of it and you go off. That's, you should be afraid. You should be scared. You should be terrified because of what could happen to you, right? And ask for forgiveness, you know, sincerely, right? Because, there's a, and I want to say this before I close, there's a difference between someone who, you know, went off because, you know, they actually couldn't control the situation. They actually couldn't control, you know, um, their flesh. Whatever it was, you know, he went off, okay, but it's like if you're going off because you're you're tired or you're not disciplined enough, you know, or you gave up, I, you know, the most high is going to punish you for that. It's going to be a lot. Your punishment is going to be a lot worse than the, than the other situ, uh, situation. Nonetheless, they're both bad, but your punishment is going to be a lot worse for the, the second one. Right. So you want to keep fighting, keep fighting to the best of your ability, whatever that is. You know, every, every brother's strength is different. Anyways, I want to close out by saying, Kahala Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash. You know, double honors to the Apostle's great millstone, at the awful light, pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, and tooth as well. Kwame Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shawal.